Hi, this is our third video on sol solving simultaneous equations by elimination. Um, this time we've got something similar to our previous example. Um, the difference here is that we've now got a plus here and a subtract here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how we can deal with that. So, um, like we did before, we want to have the coefficients of our x is the same or the coefficients of our y is the same. So I'm going to choose to make the coefficients of our y's the same here. Um, so if again, if I label this as equation 1, and this here is equation 2. Um, if I now multiply equation 1 by 2, that's going to make this 10x plus 4y is equal to 52. OK, and I'm going to write down equation 2 underneath this. So we've got 8x take away 4y is equal to 20. So my coefficients of y here um, are the same, but one of them is a plus and one of them is a take away. Now, in order to do the elimination this time, rather than subtracting one equation from the other, because one of them's plus 4y and the other one's take away 4y, I actually need to add these equations together. And we'll see why this happens. So we've got 10x plus 8x, which gives me 18x. Positive 4y add a negative 4y gives me 0y. And that's why I chose to add them together. And then I've got 52 plus 20, which gives me 72. So if 18x is equal to 72, that tells me that x is going to be equal to 4. 72 divided by 18 is 4. I now know what x is, and I'm going to sub this back into one of my equations. I'm going to sub it into the top equation here. Um, so 5x plus 2y is equal to 26. I know x is 4, so we've got 5 times 4 plus 2y is equal to 26, which tells me that 20 plus 2y is equal to 26. Um, subtract 20 from both sides, so 2y is equal to 6, and y is equal to 3. Now, um, I now know that x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. I just want to check this. Now, I use the top equation to work out what y is, so I'm now going to use equation 2, and I'm going to sub this into equation 2. So I've got 8x um, so I'll write it over here, 8 times x is 4, so 8 times 4, take away 4 times y, which I now know is 3, and I'm expecting this to be equal to 20. Um, so let's have a check, 8 times 4 is 32, take away 4 times 3 is 12, and 32 take away 12 is in fact 20. Um, so that tells me that this is going to be correct. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.